I have myself a surface in here that I just got finished making. It's now at the right size. Now I can start doing some work on it. But what I want to do is I want to label some of these contours because I want to see what these elevations are. So a nice easy way to do it is to just go over here to the annotate tab, go to add labels, go to surface, and let's add multiple contour labels. The nice thing about this is basically you draw a polyline and wherever the polyline touches the contours, it adds a label. But as you can see from this label here, it looks pretty cluttered and it's not quite printable ready yet. So what I want to do is let's modify this guy so it looks a little nicer. Right now it's labeling every single contour, minors and majors. I don't need all of them labeled and it's also labeling them to the hundredth place which is entirely too much because <laughs> we know that they're consistent elevation. All I really want to do is I want to label every major label. I want to turn off the minor labels and I want to adjust these so they don't print everything. The easiest way to do that is just to go over here, pull up the properties of this guy. It's right here's properties. Uh, first thing I want to do is display label line, which is this line right here that I use to draw them. I'm going to turn it off, turn it to false. Whenever you see that 150 blue color, that is pretty much a lets you know that it's not going to print. I'll look down here and I see it says minor contour line labels. Set to true, let's set it to false. That cleans up a little bit, but we still have our major guys being a bit too heavy duty. So let's reduce their uh, place on that. So if we go over here to create an edit, it brings up this panel here which we can get to through the settings as well, but since we're in this box, we might as well play with it. Now it says ex existing major labels. I want to edit him. I click on this guy. On the information tab, it tells you who it is. And all we have to do is go here to the layout. Currently, here's the layout, which is the surface elevation. If you click in there, you get the ellipse. Click on the ellipse, you get another screen. You can't really read this even when you're looking at it normally because it's gray on black. But if you highlight it, it'll fill in this box over here with all of its data. All we want to do is adjust the surface elevation, which is this label. And all we want to do is knock the precision down to 1. Once you do this, if you hit OK, it won't save it. You have to make sure to hit the plus, or the plus. <laughs> you have to make sure to hit the arrow to put it over into there. When you do, you'll see the line shift. And if you can read in there, let's see if I can deselect it. You can see right here where it says P0. It did say P2 before. P0 means it'll be a precision of just one. We'll go OK. And we'll hit OK again. Now we still have our existing major levels. We had to escape a time or two. And now they're nicely cleaned up. And since it's using the same style, these ones here will clean themselves up once I make the adjustment to set the minors false and turn the label line off. There we go. Now we've got some cleaned up labels. Of course you want to move them around and you may want to set the frequency of this a little bit different. If I set the frequency of this to say 2 and 10 background, let's say. Now you'll see that it again labels just the majors and it looks a whole lot cleaner. There we go. Now we have a surface we can actually use or print or display nicely. All right.